Hey guys, it's Sue Evelyn with Sue Show. We are at the Dodger Stadium Clubhouse where Southwest Voter Registration Education Project is hosting an event to honor our mayor of Los Angeles. Well, tonight's a great event. We're kicking off a uh, Latino vote campaign here in the city of Los Angeles for the mayoral and city council elections and honoring our outgoing mayor, Antonio Villarregosa, first Latino mayor in 120 years in the city of Los Angeles. He's done great things for the city. We're now the safest major city in America, and our economy is stronger in very tough times. And we just thought it would be good to uh, say that and bring everybody together so we can have a good start to this year. There's a lot of momentum from the 2012 elections, so we want to capitalize on that. And we're honoring today um, Antonio. Any last words for him and in his next journey in life? Well, as I said in my message uh, to uh, Antonio Villarregosa, uh, the mayor of Los Angeles, that we uh, were very proud of the work that he did in L.A., but that we're anticipating uh, even more. The best is yet to come. This is it's finishing one phase and beginning another phase. We don't know what that is yet, but we know him, so it's going to be big and it's going to be good. Proceeds of the event will benefit Southwest Voter Registration Education Project's Latino Vote and Late Campaign. Tell me how you feel about tonight's event going on for you to honor you and everything you've done for our city of LA. Well, I'm here to honor Southwest Voter Registration Education Project. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I've worked with them uh, since the 1980s, uh, and uh, voter registration is something that I've been committed to my entire life, and it's. Uh, it's really uh, the way uh, to make the difference that we need in our community. You know, I've said uh, we've got to get more citizens. Well, one, we've got to get comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, we've got to make them uh, new citizens. We've got to get them to vote. Uh, and we've got to make sure uh, that uh, our community is respected and listened to. And that's what Southwest Voters Registration and education project has always been about. How important is it for Hispanics to vote, get out there more? Our last Well, election. we made the difference. 71% of the Latino vote voted for uh, Barack Obama. Right. And I can tell you that uh, uh, this is a vote that's growing, uh, that's getting more energized, that understands uh, that tu voto es tu voz, that your, uh, your vote is your voice and you can make a difference. Next week, it's your birthday. How would you be celebrating your birthday? And happy early birthday to you from two uh, shows. I'll be working uh, on my birthday like I always do, but uh, I think I'll probably spend a little time with my family. SVREP's mission is to empower Latinos by increasing the participation in the American democratic process. All right, so we're with our dear friend, Roxy. Hi. So tell me how you're enjoying the night tonight. I'm loving the night. I'm actually really excited to be here tonight and co-hosting this event with another anchor from Mundo Fox tonight. And um, I think I, I'm kind of extra excited because I've worked with the mayor throughout my, my career as a radio personality here in L.A. And, um, you know, every time we've reached out to him for anything, whether it was an event for the youth or uh, feeding the homeless or, um, you know, an art project, like the simplest things we would reach out to him. And he was actually the first um, the first person that called me to congratulate me when I started doing mornings in L.A. So uh, I got a lot of love for Antonio, and it feels good to be here supporting an event like him and, and just thanking him and honoring him for such great service to the best city in the world. You know what I mean? So tell me, how are you enjoying the night? It's a great night, you know, to be here at Dodger Stadium, a very historical area where, you know, many Latinos lived here before we uh, became Dodger Stadium at Chavez Ravine, and now to celebrate our first mayor in over 137 years. Uh, it, it means a lot to the city of LA, it means a lot to us, but it's a fun night. But most importantly, we're raising money for the Southwest Voter Registration Education Project, something that is even more relevant today when it started. Although there were a lot less Latinos in this country back then, it's more relevant now because our population has grown, but proportionally, we don't have the same amount of representation, so we gotta keep working harder. So since 1950s to now, they say that Antonio has in, um, gain related crimes have gone down. A lot of things have gone better for the city of LA. From when you were in the district to now, now that Antonio is mayor and everything has changed, what can you say have been the, the best difference or the most improved within the district? 
Well, you know, we've got to look at public safety, and because really nothing else can happen without public safety. Uh, my neighborhood in Ball Heights, where I used to live, and the mayor spent some time as a youngster, there were areas in the, of that area of that neighborhood we never went to. Parks were taken over by gangs and drugs, and we stayed away from them. But now we see that uh, you know these parks are open, there's families, there's baseball being played, a, a totally different environment. But I think what I appreciate most about our mayor is the efforts he put into education. Because, you know, when he speaks about education, you see it in him. You see how important it is to him. Uh, you see that he sees in those young people um, himself. And, and that's why I know how important it is to, for him to continue working on education. And he did a lot there. He didn't have to take on some of the toughest schools, but yet he did that. And uh, he did a great job with those schools. And for that, I commend him. Because of him, thousands of more of our young people have a better shot at life. And working with Antonio, what is the best memory that you have from him, from the terms that he's been in office? The best memory I have of him is that he has christened me with a new name. <laughs> Instead of introducing me as Jose Wisad, he says, Don Pepe. He introduces me whether we are around Spanish media or English media. And the English media sometimes doesn't get it, right? They're like, oh, what does that mean, you know? But it is uh, something that term of endearment, I guess, he has come up with for me. And uh, But I love him for that. I get called Don Pepe here and there. Uh, but uh, all around, uh, I'm just really appreciative of, of him as a friend, as a mentor, as inspiration of what's possible, and really for being courageous. If I were to think of a word for Antonio, it would be courageous. Uh, he has this way of introducing me. He called me Don Pepe. So tonight, I have the honor, without a press conference, without you know, tripping myself up, of calling you Don Antonio. Okay? <laughs>